Hi, my name is Christopher DeMora. I own the DeMora Agency for Farmers, and I've been in the community now since 1992. I lived here when I was younger as a kid. Um, my address here is 741 North Alameda Suite 1. Um, I've been uh, a soccer coach for 25 years. I've played soccer for 38 years. I retired a few years ago. I also gave up coaching so I could open my own business. Uh, I got into this by the mayor, Ken Miyagashima. In 2018 of December, he asked me to come and meet him. I met him and he rethought the way he hires his agents and he offered me uh, an opportunity to study and learn from him and take the test and eventually I got my license just about four months ago and I've been in business since January 6, 2020. Um, we are now offering the community masks, all different types of masks. There are three layer masks. They fold up over your head. I buy them from a nurse here in town in Memorial Medical. I met her March 22nd, um, 2020, when uh, my assistant, Sean, back here, she uh, bought me this mask, and I knew they were shutting down the businesses, and we were eventually gonna have to start wearing masks, and I was ahead of the game. I asked Cynthia how I could donate to the hospital because she said the nurses and Doctors did not have any masks available. So I met her at Walmart on March 23rd, eight o'clock in the morning. And we bought all kinds of materials so she could make masks. It took her a week to get them all together. And um, they were all, we donated over 175 masks to the hospital, to dispatch, to EMT to all the um, frontline workers because we felt that was a, a good thing to do for our community because I've been a member of this community for a long time and I don't want to see anyone getting sick and I'm just trying to do the right thing and I had a little extra money to spend and I thought I could donate my time and my energy and my money to help others. Um, eventually, what we did was um, we reordered after we donated uh, 130 masks I paid uh, out of my pocket. And then I asked for donations for the community. We set up appointments every 15 minutes. So we make sure that everybody's safe. We give them gloves to come in with and uh, we let them go through the masks with their untouched and they haven't touched anything and they look through the gloves and pick up I mean the masks and they pick out what they want and then they ask for a donation however much they can afford if they can only afford four dollars five dollars I'll take that some people have been very generous and I appreciate the, their generosity to help me reinvest in buying more masks for the community um, the very first day we did this was on uh, Monday two weeks ago and I ordered 130 masks. They were delivered to me at one o'clock. We were sold out by two o'clock, and I'm sorry, 12 o'clock the next day. I reordered another 130 masks on that Wednesday. We were sold out by Friday, and I ordered another 80 last Monday, and I now just got a reorder today of all these new football, baseball, Eagles, a lot of more, a lot more men's masks now because we've been running out of men's masks very quickly. We have kids' masks, little toddler masks from three to eight, very cute ones, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and that's and women's masks.